scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for coming, everyone. Hallelujah. It's always a privilege. I apologize for all the people who are having to stand. I assure you, this is not a waste. Not when you are doing it for His Majesty. May the Lord cause the nations to stand before you because they will stand in awe. Hallelujah. I'd rather stand before God than to stand begging and clamoring for the attention of men. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to tell you something. It is always a privilege, always a privilege to bring the word of the Lord to us. I have never considered it as a right. I didn't earn it. This is an election of grace. Before I was born, God has been blessing and raising people. And if He tarries after we are gone, there will still be the impact of the Spirit. Look, sit down anywhere you find. If you can sit on stage and you won't feel embarrassed, go ahead. We're excellent people and we're organized. But not too organized to rob people of entering their glorious destiny. Hallelujah. There is a longing that only you can feel. A raging tempest that only you can steal. My heart is thirsty, Lord, to know you as I'm known. Drink from the river that flows before your throne. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you. Jesus, hold me close to your embrace. Would you take me deeper, deeper than I've ever been before? I just want to love you more and more. How I long. That's my desire. That's my desire all the time. My desire is not to be a great preacher. I'm telling you. Being a great preacher does not heal the sick. It doesn't cast out devils. It doesn't change destinies. A desire to know Him. A desire to know Him with all my heart. There is an urgency in my spirit that is not bound to this realm nor anything this realm can offer. 
it is my singular pursuit as far as I'm concerned I have not begun ministry yet this is only the preparation for an extraordinary life I want to challenge you even as we start your desire for God must be genuine otherwise you will be tired later on hallelujah it's good to receive from God it's good to receive that's why we have miracle services where we trust the Spirit of God to release great things into the lives of men but let me tell you if your circumference of your pursuit for God is centered around the things you will get your Christian experience will be poor hallelujah praise the Lord Lord we bless you tonight we'll be considering something please bring out your notebooks whatever you have to write I want to teach tonight on the walking knowledge of the word the walking knowledge of the word it's the Greek word epignosis the walking knowledge of the word blessed be the name of the Lord John 8 How many of you believe God is here? Those of us who are pastors and men of God or will be called into ministry, listen, let me give you a frank advice. If you have the best stage in the world and you have the best of media people, you wear the best of suits and you lack the presence of God, you are wasting God's time and the time of his people hallelujah all of those things are only relevant if you can sustain the presence of God Shalom Shalom Jerusalem peace be to you When Messiah comes to take us home, may His praise be found in you. Shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom Jerusalem Shalom 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 Jerusalem Lord we will give you no rest until we become the Zion of our Lord experientially. Thank you, Jesus. John 8. I'd rather not have a ministry and have his presence. I rather be considered a failure and have his presence when you have his presence you have everything learn this when you have his presence you will have every other thing I cannot burn this enough into your spirit everybody listen when you have his presence you have everything the presence of God is the end of every argument, the end of every contention. 
Let your presence never depart from this house, O God. Let it please you, Majesty, to make this place a tabernacle of your presence. You called it Koinonia. This is a place where we meet. Let this be the gates of heaven. Let nothing in this place turn into religion. Let it not be the simple quest of men to make meaning out of their lives. Lord, that you will find a place that you can tabernacle and build men and train men. Holy Spirit, you will find full expression in the midst of your people. Your presence. We covet greater weights of your presence. Greater than any revelation. Hmm. Greater than any anointing. The presence of the living God. presence of the living God. Lord, we honestly desire you. This is a true commitment from our hearts. On behalf of your people, Lord, we express a desperation. We want to see all of you manifest in our lives. We know that there is an extraordinary life destined for us in Christ. And we labor in the spirit to apprehend that which has been kept aforetime for us. So help us, O oh God, tonight as we advance in this sincere quest. It's a preparation for a fire and a revival that the earth has not seen. You brought everyone here by your predeterminate counsel. Teach us, great rabbi. We sit before your holy presence, break the bread of the Spirit and cause understanding to be crystallized upon us. May we not be men void of spiritual understanding. Strengthen our hearts out of the abundance of the deposit of spiritual things that you will put in us. Give us grace to be able to read the writings on the wall. That we may stand among the great and command power in this realm. We thank you because it is your great desire to do this. We yield ourselves to you, O oh Great One. Breathe upon us tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. John 8. Verse 32. The working knowledge of the word. This is what I want to teach on tonight. Hallelujah. And you shall know the truth. And the truth. That you know. Not that is available. The truth that you have. That you know. Will make you free. The word know the truth there. Is the Greek word epigenosko is the complete and accurate knowledge of anything that brings the person who is knowing and what is known into oneness hallelujah and you shall know there will be an intercourse between you and the truth and as a result you will experience liberty you will experience freedom the limitations that and the encumbrances of life that keep you at the lower echelons of life will give room and you will celebrate freedom it says you shall know the truth not that you will hear about the truth you will know it's one thing to hear it's another thing to know Hallelujah. This realm 
is governed by knowledge write it this realm is governed by knowledge the degree of light that you have isaiah 61 verse 1 it says arise comma shine it says for your light is come arise shine not because you want to arise not because you this is not an issue of desire here it is the byproduct of the coming of your light arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you this is the prophecy verse 2 he says for darkness shall cover the earth and deep gross darkness darkness symbolizes confusion ignorance gross darkness upon the people he says but the lord will arise over you and his glory shall be seen in you verse 3 as a result he says the gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of your rising gentiles unbelievers will be compelled by your light the knowledge that you have and even kings will come to the brightness of your rising this realm listen listen please this realm is governed by knowledge this realm is not governed by miracles it's not governed by guesswork as good as miracles are the earth is not governed by miracles a miracle is only necessary because there is a violation of a principle hallelujah are you listening to me hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the prophet began to lament speaking under the inspiration of the holy spirit he says my people are destroyed my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge listen he says because you have rejected knowledge i will also reject you from being a priest that means it takes knowledge everybody say light everybody say light knowledge this realm is governed by knowledge that means the limitation that you have in life is the limitation of knowledge for you will only arise to the degree to which your light comes I'm convinced that where I am in life and the limitations in my life are the limitations of light. And so the remedy is to contend. The Bible says he made many lights. All of those many lights have their dimensions, but he made two great lights. Two great lights. And at the emergence of those lights, they silenced all those little lights. He says one to rule the day and the other to rule the night. I've said it and I've said it again and again that if that light comes you will rule both in the day and in the night hmm. hallelujah so where you are today seated looking at me is where your realm of knowledge and understanding of spiritual things have kept you I am convinced that no enemy and no devil can keep a man when his knowledge has lifted him higher there are two ways to bind satan one is by prayer the other is by knowledge your knowledge can make you live as if satan does not exist they know not the bible says neither do they understand they will grow up in darkness and so the earth is out of course but have I not said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes. Psalm 82.
Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Are you there? Okay, Psalm 82. Can you give us Psalm 82? Let's just look at it from the Amplified. It's possible. Everybody say after me, I go for knowledge. I refuse to remain where I am. I go for knowledge. If you will believe this, this is a very powerful revelation. That where you are today is because of the limitation of your knowledge. From verse 4. Deliver the poor and the needy. Rescue them out of the hands of the wicked. Verse 5. The magistrates and judges know not. This is talking about you. You will understand that from the context of verse 1. It says, Neither will they understand. And as a result, they walk on it in darkness. What is the darkness there? Of complacent satisfaction. As a result, all the foundations of the earth, the fundamental principles upon which rest the administration of justice are shaking. Verse 6. This is God speaking to the great. He says, I have said ye are gods since you judge on my behalf as my representatives. Indeed, all of you are children of the Most High. The last verse. But you shall die as mere men and fall as one of these princes. Everybody say knowledge. Accurate knowledge. Working knowledge. Not theoretical knowledge. Epignosis talks of the working knowledge. Knowledge that can be applicable to bring you results. Many of us have all kinds of religious junks and theory that cannot stand the test of time. So many, listen, we, we live in a generation of rema and knowledge. There are people who can quote Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. We have a lot of theoretical knowledge about different aspects of the Christian faith. But none of this knowledge is potent enough to deliver to us the reality of what the word says will be. He says, ye search the scripture, for in them ye think ye will find life, and ye will not come to me. He said, the letter killeth, but the spirit quickeneth. That should be Psalms, I mean, John 6, 63, I think. John 6, 63. The words that I speak unto you, he says, it is the spirit who gives life. He is the life giver. The flesh conveys no benefit whatsoever. The words, the truths. That's why the Bible says, ye shall know the word. Ye shall know the truth. I have been speaking to you as spirit and life. Everybody say, I contend for knowledge. The walking knowledge of the truth. I began to edit my life some years ago. And I found out that I had many useless, though spiritual knowledge. Useless, though spiritual. Because I used it in the face of danger and it was helpless. So I knew that this was nonsense. If it is the word of God, it should carry in it the life of God to deliver results. Is that correct? And so I began, I made a resolution that I was not going to waste my time junking myself with religious knowledge that is not able to produce results in my life. There are people who have heaps of books in their houses. They've read everything. But knowledge that is vain. Let me show you something very powerful. Ecclesiastes, the last chapter, that should be chapter 12, from verse 10. Are you getting blessed? Please take seriously what I'm sharing. I'm trying to be as simple as possible so that everyone will receive. Ecclesiastes 12. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words. And that which was written was upright and verse 11. It says, The words of the wise are as goats and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies which are given from one shepherd. Verse 12. Listen. It says, and further, by this my son be admonished, 
of making many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the flesh now this is not saying you should not study you understand the context junking yourself with all kinds of knowledge that only makes you feel that you are making progress but you are not making any progress hallelujah there are weariness to the flesh 13 he said let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man you can stop there could it be that the knowledge you have been having is only puffing you up but it's not delivering results that means there is need to convert your theoretical spiritual knowledge into the walking knowledge the walking knowledge I learned this from Bishop David Oyedeko. Remains my lifelong mentor in the area of wisdom. A man who has contacted the spirit of wisdom. Knowledge that can be applied. If you study glass technology and this glass is broken and you carry it and throw it away, of what good is your knowledge? Are you listening to me? Walking knowledge. Practical, applicable knowledge. There are many people who know almost all the scriptures. And demons come and oppress them and they are helpless. It means your knowledge is not applicable. It's not working. Hallelujah. Are you receiving something? And I want to challenge you tonight and expose you to the principles that can help your knowledge become experiential you can know that what you know can work for you listen can i tell you something there is a waiting process in faith but the waiting time is not forever the end of faith is a performance this is what validates the waiting time Thank you, Jesus. The first thing I want to talk about is the supremacy of God's word. Everybody write the supremacy of God's word. The supremacy of God's word. God's word in this realm is the final authority over the affairs of men. God's word is the final authority final authority when it comes to the affairs of men your experiences notwithstanding your experiences do not have the capacity to validate the word of god the word of god is that standard is that benchmark that all other things revolve around that means when your Christian experience is not tilting you towards the reality of the word of God, you can check and know that something is wrong with your life. There are many ministries that build their churches and their ministries around spiritual experiences. Never build your Christian life just around visions and dreams. You will get into a lot of demonic error. That's the problem with a lot of people. They are always seeing something every day. And they never consult the word. And so it leads them into blind error. They are like a pendulum swinging from left to right. Can I tell you something? Those who will last in these days are men who give priority to the word of God. Not men who have visions and dreams. I believe in spiritual experiences. But the realm of the spirit is such a complex realm. You must only look at it from the realm of God's word to pick out that which is relevant to your destiny. Hallelujah. Right now, if you are seeing visions and someone is an ardent student of the word, that student feels very inferior. He feels me, I'm not seeing anything. And we brag about the things that we see and hear in the spirit. Do you not know that your experiences have not been tested, but the word of God has been tested seven times through every dispensation and it has been found to last. If you build your church upon the word of God, I don't care what men say, it will stand. 
if you build it upon visions and prophecies get set they will fall if you build your miracle there are many men of god who build their miracles around anointing as good as that is i feel very sorry for them the word of god the spirit and life of god god is only commanded to go anywhere his word attracts him to hallelujah are you learning something the supremacy when you come to a point where you realize that the word of god is the final authority everybody say final authority concerning any area if it's your finance the word of god is the final authority if it's your well-being the word of god is final authority so if I tell you, you will not die. And you say, ah, the man of God has spoken to me that I will not die. That is wonderful. But can I tell you something? There is a more sure word of prophecy. That you find out in God's word. That I shall not die but live to declare. Any other prophetic word that comes, only comes as a confirmation. Listen, my life is grounded upon solid I thank God that I did not start my spiritual journey on visions and dreams. I started it upon the solid foundation of seeking the word. Hallelujah. There are many people who will not believe the word of God until a man of God stands and prophesies and speaks it to them. There are many people who cannot take the word of God and believe. And say, look, this word guarantees certain things. Thank God for the gifts in the body. But do you know that the word of God is greater and bigger than any man of God? And that at the revelation of the true revelation of this word, you can open up any closed door. Koinonia is not running on guesswork. That's why we don't give ourselves heart attack for once. We are running upon the infallible, irrefutable, working, practical knowledge of God's word. Did you hear what I said? We are not walking upon just a blind prophecy. Practical. Irrefutable. The heavens and the earth will pass away, but the word of God abided forever. What is your life built upon right now? There are many of you, our lives are built upon shadows. The day the man of God who has become the anchor to your life is not around, you are dead. Our churches are full of gullible people. Who are just running oh prophet just tell me something just touch me just touch me and they don't know why now i believe in these vessels you will get something because they are anointed but did you know that you are only established to the degree to which you have the working knowledge of god if someone looks at me today and says that witches had a meeting that i would die i'm not even going to pray about it I tell you, I have too many important things. My 24 hours has been well sectioned. There is no space for frivolities. Hallelujah. This is why you find out that there are ministries that have a lot of crowd but no growth. No spiritual growth. Gullible beggars looking for men of God chasing after people everywhere that should be built and established in truth. Is God's desire. Shame on us if all we have in this place is a crowd of people sitting everywhere with little or no spiritual knowledge. This is why we dedicate only one Friday in the whole month. We sit under the word of God and feed you with truth that will build you so that you will now begin to command results and bring blessings to others. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord knowledge spiritual knowledge is very powerful there are all kinds of books that have been written about church growth church planting church principles advancement i've read some of those books and i'm sorry to tell you they are just junks those who wrote them do not even have a working knowledge this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth 
but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then shall thou make your ways prosperous and you shall have good success everybody say the supremacy of god's word the word of god reigns supreme over your life anybody that is leading you into any spiritual dimension outside god's word is a herbalist run don't pray That's why before we begin ministering to you, we make sure that we show you the scriptural foundation upon which we do everything. And this is why he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Very important. You must have a working, practical, experiential knowledge of God's truth. If I ask you today, why will you be successful in life? What will be your answer? hallelujah i'm not going to ask you but if i ask you if someone asks you right now say sister can you stand up don't worry i won't ask you stand up oh yeah now stand up if i ask this lovely lady now and i say why are you are you going to be successful in life that's the only one i'll ask she said definitely but listen did you know that success is not the issue of willpower forget about willpower has never brought anybody success it's not even a function of resolution when i see your investment in the word of god i can predict your future hallelujah i don't care what confessions you are making if i do not see you contending for the truth of god's word i know you are wasting your time and the time of others hallelujah say after me the word of god reigns supreme yes it must reign supreme that means the following number one your life must be compelled to live by the principles of the word your life must be compelled notice i use the word compel it says mortify your body this body is stubborn your life must be compelled to come under the governing influence of the word a believer is not just one who talks church things a believer is one who has submitted to the governing authority of the word that the word of god becomes your basis of judgment and decision Are you listening to me is someone learning something so listen to me hold on now i want to open a shop hallelujah the first thing is not to run and look for capital the first thing is to run to the word of god and find out what is the economic program that the word of god has earmarked for the success of the believer if you are not doing that i feel sorry for whatever you are doing hallelujah you want to get married. The first thing is not to say, Kai, Pastor Jakes, I saw this beautiful girl. Mm -mm, leave that girl alone. Run to the word. The walking knowledge. Hallelujah. And then you begin to study. The Bible says, He that finds a wife finds a good thing, not a bad thing. And so you say, Wow, there are many ways to get good things in life. One of it is marriage. That becomes your basis of joy. And then you now check one can conquer a thousand two can conquer ten thousand that means you expect acceleration and increase in your life listen many people do not allow the word of god the applicable knowledge we have knowledge that we cannot use we cannot try he said thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path he didn't say thy word is a book in my hands Thy word is a lamp to my feet. That's guidance. And a light to my path. That's direction. The moment there is anything in life, the first thing, the first place to run to is the word. Search it out. 
Stay with the word until light breaks forth. People fast, they have no revelation of what they are doing. So it becomes a meaningless spiritual exercise. People do night vigils. They only do it because they are emulating those who have been successful. That's the reason why something can be blessing somebody else and be killing another person. The same thing. Lack of light. Hallelujah. I never do anything in my life because people are doing it. Never. People can be running. I'll just sit down and be looking at them. They say, won't you join? I say, me? Go where? Who is going to shorty my running? Who is going to take responsibility? For when God does not send you, he doesn't back you. I never do anything. That's why you notice that we don't do anything in this place except God directs us. And when God directs us, we are committed to it. Doggedly. What has been governing your life? What has been governing your life? For many of us, we do not have time for the word. We have time to discuss our problems with everybody. We have time to run around chewing from morning till night in the homes of prophets. And apostles and teachers and every kind of person. But we do not have time for the word. You just spend five minutes inspiring women or rhapsody of realities or every day with Jesus. Thank God for these resources. But you give your academics only that time and see if you will excel. What makes you believe? The clearest proof of love is the investment of time. Whatever you love, you will have time for it. That you do not love the word of God and spend time is a sign that is not a priority for you. Hallelujah. How amiable are your words, O oh Lord. They are my meditation day and night. You know, many of us do not understand the dynamics of how the written word will translate into making, improving the quality of your life. Predominantly because we have not been taught. Hallelujah. I spend a major portion of my life and time building upon the word. Because the word will give me what people are chasing after. The light breaks from the word. I sit under the word. Scrolling from page to page. Searching for spiritual principles and mysteries. My son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from thy heart. Thy eyes, keep them in the midst of your heart. He says they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. Has the word of God become ultimate and final authority over your life? This is the question God is asking us. Many of us live as if we are not Christians. You live as if you are children of the devil. But when we come to church, we behave. Our decisions come from Nigerian films and advices from friends. The word of God is always the last resort for many people. When they've tried every other junk and it does not work. You meet somebody who is going through a predicament in his life and recommend scriptures and give the person, they'll go and throw it away. But tell the person, wake up by 12. Stand at the right side of your house. Wear only boxers. Look at the sky for 10 minutes. And say, I am free. I am free. I am free. They'll say, I like it. This is the kind of thing I like. Because we have not been taught the power of God's word. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. He says, and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. Oh, that you will understand the glory. You will understand how organized your life will be. If you will give time to the word of God. Do you know how Satan makes us to run away from God's word? Distraction. 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 Many of us are too busy and it's not God that gave you what is occupying you. It is your vain quest for ambition. 
I'm sorry for anybody who wants to ever be successful in life and will not first sit down with the word of God. The word of God will ease your journey in life. The word of God will guarantee your arrival in a glorious destiny. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The word of God. See, when the word of God becomes the basis of anything you do, your results are predictable. Koinonia will never be less than it is now. You know why? There is the working word that is granting us grace. Hallelujah. The supremacy. God is asking you a question tonight. You know, whenever I am saying these kinds of things, ladies think I'm taking them personal, but I, I need to hit you people very well because you are, you are the victims. Some of you are looking at me the way you are looking at me. This word is just jumping and passing. There are all kinds of soils. Why don't you settle with the word? One thing, matter, matter, you are concerned and upset about many things. Many of us believe that when you are connected to so, so, so and so person, you will be prosperous. Let me tell you ahead of time, you are wasting your time. Because the greatest of any man is a man. Are you listening to me? Some of us are depending on the blessings of our... Some of us are depending on our degrees. Some of us are depending on any... Let me tell you, anything you are depending on that is not the word of God has already predicted your life. Doom. But happy are you when you find it. Happy are you when you find it. Right from the time when there was nobody who would come around, the word of God already showed us a picture. Listen. Am I boring you? Are you receiving something? I'm challenging you because, see, the cruelty of life can only be immune. You can only be immune to it by the revelation of the word of God that you have. There is a whiplash of poverty coming upon people in ways, in, in unprecedented dimensions that will turn Christians into beggars. But to you, to you who are within, who will take the word of God serious, you will find out that you are rising. Are you listening to me? I am convinced that no man can take my life. This is no longer a prayer point. It has become my conviction. And there are, there, there are a network of scriptures that have informed this ideology. It's not just because, do you know how many text messages people have sent to me? I saw you dying. I saw them shooting you. I said, let it remain from the realm of the dream there. Because it will never happen. You do not know how immune I am. He said, I will slay a nation for your sake. A nation. Not three arm robbers or four. A nation. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. Hallelujah. Knowledge. This becomes the basis of our authority and audacity in the spirit. I will never become a failure in life. No, see, this is not, I'm not confessing it to make me believe. I'm speaking forth out of the abundance of that which has been settled in my heart. You know why? It's not because Jesus is alive alone. I found the keys. Hiya. He said, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. There are keys, brothers and sisters. If you catch it, you have caught it. The Lord is granting you keys. If you have caught it, you have caught it. I will never, till Jesus comes, taste poverty again. Forever. No, see, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm bragging. 
No, I have found it. I have found it. He said, I have found. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. He says, Look unto Abraham, your father, and to Sarah that bear thee. I called him alone and blessed him. Called him alone. So I decided to understudy the life of Abraham because the Bible tells me he's the biblical portrait of a blessed man. And the Bible says, And Abraham gave Melchizedek a tent. And he blessed Abraham. And he said, Blessed be Abraham of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. I found in the book of Malachi, he said, Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? The walking knowledge. I will never rob God of my time. Listen. God gives you 100%. And he says, give me 10% to prove that what the blessing I sent arrived to you. So that I can send another one. He said, bring ye all your tithes to my house. And prove me now here which saith the Lord. If I will not, number one, open the windows of heaven. Number two, shower upon you a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. Number three, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. And it shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast its young before its time. He said you shall be called blessed and you shall be a delightsome land. Luke 6, verse 38, it says, Give! And it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. He said, for with the same measure you give, that is the measure you will be given. I found it. Second Corinthians 8, 9 says, Ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that although he was rich, yet for my sake he became poor, that I through his poverty might be rich. Second Corinthians 9, verse 8. The Bible begins to speak about God loving a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. And then I found in scripture, higher. He said the gift of a man, the gift of a man makes room. The gift of a man. And I have the greatest gift in me, the Holy Ghost. That means forever, there will always be room for me. When you build your life around the confidence of the word of God, you become unbeatable. Hallelujah. Koinonia will always remain blessed. Because I found in Hebrews 7, 7, it says, And without contradiction, the lesser is blessed of the greater. And without contradiction, I found there the secret Hallelujah. These are the principles that we are working with. People will keep coming for koinonia in ways that defy explanation. You know why? The Bible says, if I be lifted up. So that's the key. If I be lifted up, not a man of God. He say, I, I, Paul can plant, Apollo can water, but increase is not given to any man. Hallelujah. I found the secret of the anointing. This is not guesswork. Uh -uh. The secret of the anointing is not just impartation. Psalms 89. I have found my servant, David. When it comes to the things of the anointing, you must be a servant. This is the secret of revelation and power. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. He says the revelation of Jesus Christ which is sent unto his servant John that he should show unto his servants the things that must happen. Joshua chapter 1 the Lord speaking to Joshua said Moses my servant is dead. He said and as I was with Moses so I will be with you. What is your life standing upon? What is your life standing upon? Hallelujah. What is your life standing upon? Luke 10, 19. Forever settles the issue of the devil. It says, Behold, I give you power.
power to tread upon snakes, scorpions, and all the powers of the enemy and nothing. That's why I cast out devils and sleep like a baby. The devil that would distract me has not yet been manufactured in hell. I remember saying this years ago and somebody told me, you are making too much noise, so let the person see now. What is the framework of your confidence in the spirit? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the Bible says, I fear no evil. Why? For thou. You see why we talk about the presence of God? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table for me, not in the absence, but in the presence of my enemies. They need to be witnesses. You anoint my head with oil, and that anointing causes my cup to overflow. Hallelujah. I found the secret of commanding increase in any land. The Bible says, let the people praise thee, O God, let the people praise thee, and then the earth shall yield her increase. See, you are limited by your knowledge. Listen to me. You are limited. You are limited by your knowledge. If you will contend, many of us need to sit with the word of God and cry. We have a praying generation, which is great. But we have a wordless generation too. We have men and women who can pray for 12 hours, but they cannot sit with the word for 3 hours. And we have been made to believe that the moment you can pray and attack spiritual forces, they will go. You try it. This is why the prayer life of many people has no fire and it has no power. Because their prayer is, is not consistent with the word of God. Jesus spent 3 years doing a teaching ministry with his disciples after that he released them and they shook their world they sat under his feet for three solid years day and night i write these things to you oh excellent theophilus all that jesus began to do and teach all that jesus began to do Your success can be predictable. It can be consistent. It can be stable. Hallelujah. I listed all the areas in my life that I know will be relevant for my human existence. And I started supporting them with solid scriptures. There's no area of my life that I've left to chance. Hallelujah. Do you have a working knowledge of the truth? Have you found truth that you are running with? What are you running with? Many of us are running with luck and guesswork. How are you going to know that that is the job? Based on salary? Based on what? See, the life of many believers is, is, too, unpre is, too, is too slippery. We are not solid in our work. This is why we dwindle at anything. Whatever is happening, everybody's running. Something else is happening, everybody's running. When will you gain stability in the spirit? Hallelujah. We have a prosperous ministry forever. Because the Bible says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. These are the conditions. So, Fruitfulness and productivity is not just dash. There are conditions. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on that law doth he meditate day and night. 
What is the result? He shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. And then he says, whatsoever he doeth, prosper. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Everybody say the word is final authority over my life. See, some of you want increase, you want joy, you want grace, but you are obviously working against your own success. Because you are walking against the world. Many of you are, you want prosperity, but you are so greedy. There are some battles Satan cannot fight. The only way Satan can fight your harvest is to fight your seed time. I see a lot of people who want to be rich. You get angry when you see rich people. You get angry when you see blessed people. As though they are being blessed, stopped you. From achieving your own. When you see a blessed man who is blessed by kingdom principles, look at his giving life. The Bible says, as far as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and winter, or cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Proverbs 3 from verse 9 and 10. He said, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. He says, So shall thy bands be filled with plenty and thy vats to overflowing. Many of you are greedy and selfish and self-centered. That's why you will never get the blessings of the Lord. It doesn't matter how many miracle services you attend. Don't be offended. I'm teaching you the principle that will help you. Hallelujah. Do not envy a giver. He cannot help his situation. He will remain blessed. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we do not owe God one naira. By the grace of God. As soon as the offerings are collected, before anything is done with the money, I'm sharing these principles with you because I want it to work in your life. 10% of it is taken on to God. We can't stop being blessed. It doesn't matter what your personal feeling is about it. Hallelujah. You can be anointed and keep growing in the anointing. Are you listening to me? There are many people who can be anointed and full of fire. And then one day you find out that they are no longer anointed. No. That's anointing that came as a result of impartation. Without knowledge to back it. I can lay hands on you and you begin to do supernatural things. But your lack of knowledge will mislead you. So it must be supported by knowledge. Say after me, I contend for knowledge. Say, I contend for knowledge. I don't see limits in my life. This is not because I read a motivational book. I found out in God's word that if thou canst believe, all things are possible, not to a Christian, to him that believes. If thou canst believe. That's the only barrier. If thou canst believe. The Bible says when they shall say there is a casting down. For us our story is different. We will say there is a lifting up. I believe this. I believe this. Hallelujah. Psalms 128 says blessed is the man that feared the Lord. It says, his seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. And all of that, he begins to speak. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. The fear of the Lord. That means the fear of the Lord has a lot of blessings. If you do not fear the Lord, why will you want his blessings? 
See, this is what people like David Oyedeko and other people call the covenant. They call it the covenant because once you play your part, God is committed to his part. Hallelujah. I found in life that when you solve people's problems, you become blessed forever. This is the secret of generational impact and influence. Many people think money makes a ministry. Impact brings blessings. When you bless people, they are too grateful to leave you the way they met you. Hallelujah. The Bible says the fire upon the altar shall not go down. That's why we will not stop praying. That's why I won't stop fasting. And then shall thy light break as the morning. Access to unlimited insight and illumination of the spirit. Now that you know these things, do you live by it? Do you practice it? Can I tell you something? Many of you have, have been accusing God. But sit down this night and you will know God is fair. You are the one who has been killing yourself. Is that true? Many of you know that. No, look, God is just. He told Cain, he said, if you do like your brother, will he not be accepted? That's what he told Cain. Cain was angry that his brother's sacrifice was accepted. I was watching Dunamis TV and I saw Paul and Encher's wife. He was not around. And she was ministering in their healing and deliverance service. And I just sat down. I said, no, God, you are just. There is no partiality in you at all. If I do what that man is getting, I will get his result. Full stop. Period. Rather than criticizing people, especially for those of you who, in your small campus fellowship or this and that, you are already used to talk. Why don't you find out what they are doing? This, you see, let me tell you something. I say this with all humility. Don't misunderstand me. We have this ugly pride in the body of Christ. Huh? That we are all equal. Now, I believe we are equal. Listen, we are equal in Christ. But we are not equal in knowledge. We are not equal in grace. There are some people that have been given authority by reason of certain things. Doing business with the spirit in deep waters. The church of God has this ugly, arrogant way. When I see a man that carries something I don't have, I sit down. I don't come to him and say we are colleagues. Uh -uh. I sit down. When I'm listening to Oyedeko or any of this man of God, if you come, if you distract me, I will, I will drive you away. Because I'm receiving. Hallelujah. I wanted to know the secret of wealth because I knew it was going to be necessary because of the kind of life and ministry God is giving. And I didn't want to live this false life of begging people from left, right and center. I found out from scripture that God sent me to be a blessing to you, not a burden. I can't yoke you with my responsibilities. It's good to go and meet the one who called me. And so I went and met God. Do you know what? God told me he's not going to teach me anything. I should find vessels. That's where I found that scripture. He said, look unto Abraham, your father. In other words, God said, there are people who are commanding results in this area. Search for them. Be humble enough to sit under their feet and learn. And I said, fine. Got their materials, got their books. Sat down with an open heart and light broke from my spirit. Hallelujah. The word of God. I remember one time I was I was praying and I, I, I slept off and I had a dream. In the dream, Bishop Oyedeko was sitting down and I came. And from my wallet, I took some money and I was dropping at his feet. When I took that money and I was dropping at his feet, he looked at me. He said, there's still some in the wallet. I should bring out everything. I brought out everything and I dropped it. And then he brought out a carton just out of a drawer. 
it was full of all kinds of currencies mint and he looked at me and the holy ghost spoke to me expressly he said the keys of prosperity that i gave bishop oyedeko i have given it unto you my life is a product of encounters that are a derivative of the word follow them this is what i found in the world who through faith and patience have obtained the promise hallelujah so what do you need knowledge knowledge my brothers and sisters knowledge knowledge could it be that that's what you need to live where you are to the next level he told the woman second kings 4 he said what do you have in your house listen to what she said she said a little this was her this was her problem it was not the oil the cruise holding the oil was little so it could not do much for her and the prophet told her what her solution is he said if you increase capacity the oil will increase knowledge where i am today oh if you see the way i cry before god what you see today is our mindset of yesterday wait and see what god is doing with us today i tell you there is there is there is an there is a wave that is coming indescribable because of the infallible word of god i can stake my life at this word unto death fathers have gone before us they took this same scripture who through faith subdued nations they shot the mouths of lions people did great things a man of god went to lagos the first time he went to lagos he slept under the bridge but right now the world is celebrating that man he's called archbishop sam amaga this word turned ordinary listen listen to me this word took ordinary people show me what you are doing with this word and let me tell you what your future will be i don't need to be a prophet just show me let me see the value you are placing on this word i can tell you what your tomorrow will be like i respect the word i don't just believe it i submit to the governing authority of the word I love the word i love the word hear me tonight i'm giving you a big key epignosis i will find out the working knowledge concerning my finances the working knowledge concerning success in ministry the working knowledge concerning intimacy with the holy spirit the working knowledge concerning miracles signs and wonders the working knowledge concerning church growth the working knowledge concerning generational impact. The working knowledge concerning leadership. I found my way out of every nonsense in life. It's only a matter of time. I found my way. I found my way. Not when the word of God is here for me. Not when the Holy Ghost. I found my way. I'm telling you. Every factor notwithstanding. This is how you can rejoice in the Lord. He said, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice. Say after me, I'm blessed. Let me tell you how you are blessed. You're not just blessed because a man of God saw that you marry a rich man. You are blessed because the gift of God's word has been given unto you. And the Holy Spirit. The word of God has not gained supremacy in the life of you. How many of us tonight can look at yourself and in all sincerity say, I'm living by the word. If you are living by the word, you will pack out of that guy's house because the Bible says, do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. That you are in his house, you are not married, you are sitting comfortably, you are violating the word. Don't think you will get the same result. See, people, let me tell you, the mercy of God does not override his justice. Hallelujah. You can't be smoking and drinking, roaming around and giving God 10 minutes and there is somebody laboring in the spirit. You think you will get the same result? No, sir. Straight to the point, let me just tell you, it won't happen that way. 
Hallelujah. There are some of you in relationships with an unbeliever. This guy does not love God. What does the Bible say? It says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. It says, what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? And what communion has light got to do with darkness? You know it, but it has not become a working knowledge. You have not submitted to the influence of that word. Are you listening to me? It is the word that you know. He said, ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. When you grow in character, when you grow in grace, the Bible says, grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge. It takes knowledge for grace to be multiplied. And the more your knowledge, the more your peace. He said, grace and peace, shalom be multiplied unto you. The supremacy of God's word. The second thing I want to touch on quickly and then we'll pray is the renewal of the mind. The principle of renewal. Please write it. When the Lord asked me to share this, I was very excited because somebody needs to hear it. Proverbs 23 verse 7. Proverbs 23 verse 7. Proverbs 23 verse 7. Who is like you, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, every ocean roars to the Lord of Lords. Praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints sing praise. It says, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Look at me. Look at me. Those of you in business and entrepreneurial things, those of you who are called into that area and have read business books, there is the fundamental law. In fact, in ancient times, they hid this law from people and they call it the law of attraction. Hallelujah. This is a business law. It really does not apply to us in that context. But I, I'm just saying that to teach you something. Some of the wealthiest people in the world believe that it is this singular law. That has brought them this. The law of attraction. Praise the Lord. And the law of attraction says that every man is a living magnet. That you attract to your life the things that are consistent with your most dominant thoughts. Hallelujah. Listen. Very powerful. So every time a nation wanted to conquer another nation. What happened? They kept creating through the media the things that will make them think failure and defeat. When they find out that they've taught failure so much, the army will go and conquer them. It worked like magic. This was the principle Adolf Hitler used to conquer. This was the principle that the Roman Empire used. I've done an extensive research on it. The law of attraction. But the, the, the danger of the law of attraction is they do not give credit to God. They give credit to the earth. They believe that the earth is a living entity and it can read people's thoughts. That there are magnetic waves that leave you through your thoughts and it has an attracting power. Science students, this is what Isaac Newton tried to study that he called the universal law of gravitation. Remember? That's what he was trying. He was trying to show the union between two different bodies the earth and any other body, that there is an attraction between them. So people called it the law of attraction. So that means, according to them, that everything, this is what gave birth to this principle of visualizing. You see that? They say visualize. Do this and that. You know, 
visualize, um, see yourself successful, see yourself great, see yourself this and that and that and that. That's why the rich people have certain ideologies. Let me tell you where they took it from. That's why I took you to that scripture. Proverbs 23. Hallelujah. It says, for as he what? God equates a man's thoughts with his life. Are you seeing it there? He says, for as he thinks, where? That is how he will become. I'm teaching you a powerful principle. Ah, so my thoughts. Run with me, Genesis 11. Let's look at it quickly. We are going to pray. I want to show you how powerful this principle are. That, that your most dominant thoughts have already started living before they manifest. Genesis 11. Verse 2. Let's just start from verse 2. And it came to pass, this was the rebuilding of the Tower of Babel. Listen, please. It came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain land of Shina and they dwelt there. Verse 3. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had bricks for stone and they had asal for mortar. Verse 4. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top will reach the heaven. Listen, Nimrod was creating an imagination in them. He was telling them, this is what we are going to do. Let's occupy ourselves with these thoughts. Are you listening to me? I want to show you something powerful about the renewal of the mind. And let us make a name for ourselves. Lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the earth. Verse 5. But the Lord came down. Listen. So, this was their imagination. Is that true? The Bible says the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. Stop. Had they built it? Look at what God is saying. It's in your Bible. It says, let us see what the men had. They are finished building it. This is from God's perspective. Look at it now. Is it not on the stage? They said, let us start. The Bible says God came to look and said, these guys have finished this thing. Ayah. As a man thinketh in his heart. This is a powerful principle. Listen. If, if you catch this, you will change your life and destiny. It says, let us see what the sons of men had built. Ha! Question. They've not started. This was the board meeting to discuss. But what did God see in the realm of the spirit? This is what the business people call the law of attraction. That your thoughts are living to a point when it crystallizes. Not even the devil can stop it. Let's finish up. Hmm. And the Lord said, listen. Indeed, the people are one. And they have all one language. Listen. He said, and this is what they begin to do. Ah, uh -uh, stop. I thought he said they have already built it. Is that true? Follow me. Help me now, Koinonia. Now he's saying, this is what they begin to do. <laughs> he just saw from the realm of the spirit that they are finished. But they were about to start it in the physical. He says, now nothing that they have proposed to do will what? Was Satan mentioned in this equation? Even God testified. He said, if we don't stop these people, they will do it. How did God stop it? Seven. Verse seven. Come now. This is God. Oh. Let us go there and confuse their language. This was, God said, look, the only remedy is to break this unity, give them divided languages, divided thoughts. So, it is a language that creates thoughts. Are you following me now? Hey. I'm trying to establish something. Help me, believers. God did not say, let's go and change their mind. He said, let's just change their language. When their language changes, their minds will change. And this building will crumble from the spirit. I show you a mystery. You will live an unbeatable life. Let us change their language. Hmm. Romans 12. I'm excited. 
Shabakatabala. May somebody catch something tonight, oh God. God wants you to change your situation. May somebody catch something tonight. Verse 1. I beseech thee, therefore, brethren, listen. When it comes to renewal, Paul is beseeching brethren by them. He said, this is too important. I have to beg you. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2. It says, do not be patterned. The word world here is the Greek word aeon. The thinking pattern that comes with this age the thinking pattern it says do not be conformed to the thing that means there is a thought process that this world brings and if you stay like that you will never be successful are you listening to me you see the reason why many people are failures before you are born there is a system that has been organized and the media is helping it you don't know listen one day I'm going to teach you something called the conspiracy of the rich. And you will see how a lot of people and our media is keeping us where we are. You see how the message of poverty helps you to attract all this nonsense to your life. We think it is a good teaching. The Bible says, as a man thinking. So the Bible says, since your thought is the same, words are what crystallize into your thoughts. Is that correct? For time's sake, we may, not, we may not read it, but let me, let me just quote it quickly. Hebrews 11 from verse 1, the Bible says, Now faith, verse 1 to 3 actually, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Listen, he said that for by it the elders obtained a good report. Verse 3 says, Through faith we understand. Through faith that the world's okay we have it here listen the world was framed by what okay so we see the word here but how did it happen so that the things which were not seen there was something in the mind of god i'll never be a failure in life never 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 see don't just get emotional about this found my place i did a teaching years ago called the law of atmosphere i create only the atmosphere that allows the things of heaven to find expression so you are dropping blue films in your house you are dropping cigarettes and wondering why demons are, are oppressing you are you seeing that many of us laugh you think it's nice you don't find me using vulgar words Oh, it's not for people like us. We are... No, 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 no. I'm guarding my heart. That's the next scripture. Quickly. Proverbs 4 verse 23. Say, guard your heart with all diligence. Seeing then that your heart is such a vital point in your destiny. The Bible says for us, one to read. Read it is projected. One to read. We're going to pray. Keep your heart. Listen. The word there is create a garrison around it. The way you fence it. Create a garrison. Protect your heart. Don't let anybody come and pollute your heart with nonsense. That's how they are killing your life. When you come to my place, there is a protocol. You don't speak anyhow. I will walk you out. Hallelujah. You see why the Bible says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. What does it mean to consider? Brood on it. Think about it. Many of us are experts at thinking about yesterday. Oh, if only I did this. And they warned me. Now that it has happened, come forgetting the things that are behind i press on towards the mark of the high calling everybody say the renewal of the mind so i take the word of god which is an ideology and i begin to change my mindset everybody say change my mindset yes yes 
Yes. That's what begins to happen to you. So they gave birth to you in a house. There's, it, was, it was just firewood that they were gathering. You've been carrying that mindset. Suddenly you begin to find in God's word that there is a greater life. There is a better place for you in Christ. Your mind begins to wrestle it. People tell you you are good for nothing. Then you keep finding another testimony. But whose report will you believe? I choose to take the word of God. The entrance of thy word giveth light. The entrance, not the reading. The entrance, the entrance, not the reading. And understanding unto the simple. Day and night I meditate on what the Bible has said about me. And I believe it. I'm above principalities and powers. I am convinced about this. I am above. I am above, completely above. I am blessed. I am prosperous. My heart is already totally committed to God. There is no backsliding. It's not part of the testimony of my life. It won't happen. No, I walk circumspectly. I walk by the wisdom of the Spirit. Am I challenging somebody? Epignosis. The walking up applicable knowledge of the truth that you can apply in your life and you receive results what situation are you in right now do you know that if you take the word of god you can create a glorious destiny many of you are waiting for nigeria to change your destiny let me tell you ahead of time there is a root shock waiting we are the ones who are coming to change them Lift up your Bible if you have one. Say, this is the word of God. I believe it. I am convinced that it is not a lie. That it is truth. It is able to give me a new mindset. A new ideology. A new thought life. That will translate into a glorious destiny. I declare that I believe nothing that is not consistent with the word. I obey nothing that is not consistent with the word. Say, I live the word. I talk the word. I believe the word. I act the word. I think the word. When this becomes your life, he said they are alive to those who find them. I'll never break down and just run and you will not come and see me on Friday. You say why? I say ah there's something wrong. No. See. The word has become my new eyes. I have put the word in my eyes. It has, I am blind to any other thing that is not the word. Can you see the solution, not the sickness? Can you see the breakthrough, not the limitation? Do you see yourself rising? Listen, this is powerful. It's the principle of renewal. Sister, do you see yourself marrying? Or you are just sitting down and camping around your dream and saying in the dream, I saw a wedding, my husband was there, I was not there. Change it! Amazing the things we allow to govern our lives. Casting down every yetzah, every imagination. I cast them down. Because if I don't cast them down, they will become my reality. I refuse. I am not poor. I may have taken Gary. I refuse to meditate upon that. I'm well favored. This is what the constitution of the kingdom tells me. I'm above only. It says my path is as a shining light. It shines brighter. I don't care even if my life is nose diving. As far as I'm concerned, I'm shining brighter. I have the spirit of faith. There's no unfruitfulness in my life. There's no barrenness in my life. I have the spirit of faith. I'm convinced about its reality. I remain anointed forever. No devil, no Jezebel can take it down. It came by revelation. It is sustained by revelation. Hallelujah. Koinonia keeps moving from glory to glory. Because the Bible says whatsoever is born of God. 
whatsoever is born of God. Whatsoever. Epignosis. If you find yourself doubting the word of God at any point, you truly did not believe it. Are you listening to me? That's the proof. There are many people that only believe God's word based on the result it shows. If it does not seem to show any result, you start looking for alternatives. It means you did not believe it. Look at me. When a woman fails to give birth, does she run to go and cross-check if she's a man? Why? She's settled that there is something wrong. But to ask whether she's a woman or not is not an issue. Hallelujah. When a man is important, does he run to the hospital and say, Doctor, verify, paradventure. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Thank God I don't need another man's confession to build my life. It's entirely up to me and God. So this excludes my enemies out of the equation of my success. I'm happy about this. He said, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. He said, oh my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Rise up on your feet. Begin to pray in one minute. Come on, pray in tongues in one minute. Whose report will you believe? If thy eye be single, thy body will be full of light. If thy eye be single, as a man thinketh in his heart, so will his reality become. Come on, pray in one minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Can I tell you something? The believer is a mystery to creation. The believer is a mystery. If you don't believe this, you will die and watch others rise. And it will not be God's fault. This is why you are hearing it. Prayer point number one. We are going to pray. Listen. You are going to say, Lord, I submit my life to the authority of your word. Listen. Some of you tonight, may God break that stubborn heart that will not bend to the word. Some of you, as, as small as you are, you are so stubborn. You won't bend to the word. You know what the Bible says. And there is grace already released to you. Take advantage of it. Stay with the word. Build yourself upon the word. Stay with the word. Run away from anything that is not of God. If anything that is not of God is reprogramming your mind to failure. Lift your voice and say, Lord, I submit to your word. I submit to your word. Let him that steals, steal no more. She pros kalabaria tabaka prosotomakadaya. I live by your values. Uncompromising. By your values. Your word created the heavens and the earth. I'm giving you a key that will make you blessed, that will make you powerful, that will give you grace for generational impact. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. My word shall not fail. Cry unto God. Cry unto God. Your word governs my life. Your word governs my conversations. 
I submit. I submit. I submit. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Listen. The Bible says, As a man thinketh, what have you been allowing? What words have you been allowing to shape your mind? You listen to all kinds of corrupt and ungodly music. The problem is, they are mind builders. They control your thoughts. Hallelujah. Listen. Make a determination today that all the gates into your heart, your eyes, your ears, that you are going to culture them to make sure they only receive things that will minister life. It's a decision. It's a resolve. People will misunderstand you. But they can't stop your greatness. Hallelujah. Don't listen to any kind of thing. Don't take yourself to places that will cause you to begin to think evil. Take the word of God. Take the word of God like a drug. When you are sick, they tell you take two in the morning. Two in the hour. Take it like that. You are going to pray right now. Listen. The Bible says, casting down every imagination. You are going to speak against anything that has informed your thoughts. You know mindsets you have that are not consistent. You are going to challenge them right now with the word of God. Lift your voice and pray. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I refuse to be a failure. I'm not a non-entity. No, no. I'm relevant in God's program. The grace of God is at work in my life. Mate prakata shekete berebosha rekete kose. I can't die of that terminal disease. I can't die with that genotype. No. Lift your voice and pray. I don't believe that fibroid is a false report. I don't believe that tumor, that growth, it will die in my body. It will die in my body. No sickness can thrive in my body. No weakness. I am strong. Strong. Alive. Mentally alert. I refuse the curse of poverty. I am the blessed of the Lord. Empowered to succeed. The wisdom of God is at work in my life. The favor of God is at work in my life. I refuse any report that is not of God. I refuse it. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge it. Reports from the media. Report from my past failures. I challenge it. Make sure you are praying. Shake it, okay, the Gothica. I'm the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. I prosper. I'm growing in revelation. Growing in insight. Growing in power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bear yourselves into two. Hold somebody. Just two minutes we are going to pray. Make it three. Make it three, please. Hallelujah. Now you're going to pray. Speak the word of faith into that person's life. Every truth you know that can set men free about their life, their finances, go ahead and prophesy it. Speak it. Shake it to Kabariata. The blessed of the Lord. The blessed of the Lord. Anointed to excel. You won't die young. All the numbers of your days you will fulfill. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Your path is as a shining light. Shines brighter, brighter, brighter. You are renewed in knowledge. You have put on the new man. 
which is renewed in knowledge after the image of He that has created Him. Tell the person, I bless you. I bless you. I bless you with wisdom. I bless you with favor. I bless you. Grace be multiplied to you tonight. I bless you. Let your hands be strong. Let share banish from your life. Your God is not dead. Your God is not dead. Your God is not dead. Your God is alive. But I know whom I have believed. I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded. Take your eyes off the limits. Take your eyes off the challenges. Take your eyes off the failure. I'm blessed. I think greatness. I think favor. I think intimacy. I think about God, His ways, His life. His word is my guarantee. His word is my guarantee. God cannot lie. 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 Let every man be a liar. Let God be true. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm anointed. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. The grace of God is at work in my life. My words carry power. My mind is renewed by the word of God. My path is as a just, the path of the just. Shining brighter and brighter. There's no failure in my life. I refuse setback. I have authority over devils, over sickness, over failure. I'm not weak. I'm not beggarly. I'm the strong. We have not finished. I'm only thinking of what to tell you. Let's continue. I can do all things through Christ, through the anointing that strengthens me. I'm above only, not beneath. When men say there is a casting down, I say there is a lifting up. The favor of God is upon my life. The glory of God is upon my life. I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with death. I choose life. I choose life. I choose life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selena. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. 
The Bible says, who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands. And the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed, nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus, womb be open right now. Womb be open now. Mommy, return with your child. Return with your miracle baby. Baby girl, baby girl, look at me, madam. You are returning with a baby girl. The name of Jesus Christ. What the doctor said, God is changing it. Within now and the next two weeks, you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth. Let her go. Out! Now! Out! This is, I'm seeing a spirit holding her womb. Release her now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, 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 Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you're standing for somebody, just stand. Miracle babies, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracle babies, return with your testimonies. Hallelujah. Madam, go and return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house. It has reached Lintel level, but nothing more again. This has been for years. Who is that? The Lord is showing me something. Please. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Wait. Uh -uh. I will know if you are the one. All of you look at me. The power of God will come upon one person. That is the person. But I'm going to pray for you for coming out. No problem. Don't worry. Even if you are seated, I just want to minister directly. All of you look at me. Lord, you gave me a sign. Right now, whoever that person is, let the fire of God come in a mighty way. Now! I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact every demonic thing keeping that building as i lay my hands on you i tell you finance will come from everywhere <laughs> Rakata Brekete, building projects, building projects. God is visiting in the name of Jesus. Supernatural testimonies. Some of you before the end of the year, before the end of the year, the hand of the Lord will bring resources. Come, madam. You came out for building, but what God is going to do is more than building. You are a very good woman. Hold on. Where is your child? They are at home. Three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year. Wait, madam. Let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family. I've not even touched financial issues. Number two, number two, this is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do, yo? I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see you, this woman is a very good woman. Very good. She says, Amen. A very good woman. You can know you are good. Some of you are bad. 
She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said, I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You're a businessman. You do not even know. But you're a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? Civil servant. You're a civil servant. You are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We'll come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it up. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't need Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side outside please please don't miss it god answers prayers here look at how many people are coming for sickness you see how the devil is a is a is a is a liar welfare can i get a cup of water please so i can drink You will be healed. I give you an assurance. One last plague and Pharaoh will let you go this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how much the space is. Listen. Something's changing. Something. See his glory. Celebrate for one minute.
please listen to me listen listen refuse to walk back to your seat refuse to walk back to your seat with that sickness as I look at you the Lord is revealing people's cases I see ladies infections I see two more lump in the breast God is touching this lady right now that is putting her hand on her face take it now hallelujah I'm seeing HIV I see a number of HIV here hepatitis there are men here that have all some challenges low sperm counts infertility whatever kind of nonsense some of you have a woman here I'm seeing palpitations sometimes you gasp for breath who is that person you madam God is visiting you you are not the only person please make sure you write a request this is not a ritual Hezekiah took the prayer request and took it to the temple and dropped it before God hallelujah now all you need please except if the, the ministers ask you what the situation is otherwise just a touch I tell you the truth just a touch the worship team sang it just a touch for some of it will be like magic one moment is there another moment is gone I'm seeing somebody that coughs and you cough out sputum sometimes like blood your throat is dry sometimes you cough out blood SS I'm seeing a number of SS people who need genotype change I'm sure you've been hearing the testimonies you don't have to remain where you are hallelujah Jesus you are the great healer as we pray for you go back to your seat so that those who are outside can come it's called a miracle service Lord Jesus you revealed mighty miracles to me in the visions that you showed let there be a mighty confirmation in the name of Jesus Pastor Jakes, Pastor Williams now we are going to pray please let's pray that so someone take here someone take there Jakes you can start there Pastor Williams here as we lay hands on you check do what you couldn't do return back if you need test sorry we don't have a medical team yet to do instant tests for people but then I want you to know you will return rejoicing you will return rejoicing worship team are you ready you give us that song something's changing where Sam God is visiting me the name of Jesus Heal. take it Heal. take it Heal. take it as I pray for you Heal. take it now Out of the Holy Ghost, kill whatever it is, kill now. Lumps in the breast, go, go, go. Lumps, go. Shakateka la batakata, reketeka. Go back and check yourself. Miracles are happening. Heal, Mama, heal in the name of Jesus. Infections are getting healed. It doesn't matter who touches you. Ushers direct them, please. Ushers direct them. Heal. As I lay hands on you, return testimonies. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Take it now. Now. Miracles are happening. Mighty miracles are happening. What's wrong? Be healed 
right now. Be healed right now. Please, if if the miracle is for a child, before they get there, leave the child so that they don't jump the child. Please. Hallelujah. Continue. Praise. Heal right now. Take it. Heal. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Go back and check yourself. Take it now. Heal. Healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please, when they pray for you, go back to your seats. Shake it, break it in the bush. I bring you healing now, now, now. Please move forward, move forward, move forward. Don't worry, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Mommy, the Lord visits you right now. Leave her right now. Thou foul devil. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I bring you healing now. Daddy be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sign of high blood pressure. Go. Something's moving. Something's changing. Be healed now. Please quickly, let's save time. Just a touch, just a touch. on you. It doesn't matter. Out. 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 Now. Come out of her. Out of her. Shake it. Take her. I pray to cross over. Come out. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Every part of your body. Fire right now. Fire. Come out of her. Come out of her. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Pastor Jeff, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now.
remember I spoke and I said the lady who ran out with the mental disorder, this is how she has returned. The Bible says he's confirmed the words of his messengers. Because the Lord brought her here. Before you shout that Nago day again, we're going to cast that devil of darkness. Look at me. This night, one last plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Hold my hands. Hold my hands with the other hand. Look at me. Say, I am not mad. Say it, I am not mad. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you heard her. We overcome them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Right now, that devil of madness. Go! No more madness. Sanity restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead.
of Egypt after that he shall let you go we are going to pray for the request now and then I will speak over your life already mighty things are happening some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there hallelujah please everybody stand up pastor Williams pastor Jakes okay he's still praying for them Ah, okay Please quickly, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, do that quickly. God answers prayers in this place. Pastor, sir. Listen, please. While you are standing, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say, Lord, you know what I wrote there. You know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible. But you are saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible, do the impossible. Come on, pray. Lord, change stories. Ah, 
thousands of requests all over the country all around the world my God change stories Make sure you are praying. Lord, we lay hands. Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Pass. Let the angel of the Lord one more break. Let these testimonies come to order. Let this request change testimony. Request become testimonies. Become testimonies. Come on, say. Take the 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 Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request and I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20 20, he said, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord God of Israel Now arise Oh Lord Would you come To your resting place you And the ark Of your might And let us rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. 
there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three I just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming I see it. marriage is coming I see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek. someone wants to get married before December I see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the Lord is going after them father you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh god i speak right now let every prayer request here and for those streaming online I change it to be testimonies now in the name of Jesus I speak to you I speak to you prayer request and that which is dead will hear the voice of God become testimonies and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus hallelujah Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I always consider this part to be the greatest part of the miracle service. He sent forth his word. I'm about to prophesy right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a mantle coming on my head. Please, everybody stand. Please, everybody stand. Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe ye his prophets and you shall prosper please lift your hands everybody please as i speak i want you to believe it i want you to receive it while i pray the lord told me if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost 
right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go HIV die HIV die SS change to AA SS change to AA AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now peptic ulcer be gone right now be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see I cast that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay, or any kind of delay, at the count of three, yokes, and causes of delay because one two three go 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 hallelujah hallelujah hear me hear me any altar of darkness hear me i don't care where it's coming from that is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family right now that altar wherever it is it will catch fire now catch fire now it will catch fire now shake it, it, it. catch fire catch fire now every altar secrete every altar catch fire catch fire now every altar against any family catch fire now hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for disfavor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members 
I remove that embargo of disfavor now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. Now, believe that now, shake it, take it, take believe that now, believe that now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation pornography is not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop it's eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now I pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and I pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 now, now, now. Anyone here looking for a job or your family members, they've tried, they've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now, let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs miracle jobs miracle jobs in the name of jesus Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it doeth prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here, grow in the name of Jesus. Grow! in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your families are at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you I don't care family problems God is visiting them now every family problem because God marked this miracle service for families every problem Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads 
of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released I command peace I command prosperity I command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth and he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now hallelujah I release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored I pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of Jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word grace to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it hallelujah you will never be the same never be the same never ever be the same you will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid hallelujah now listen to me inside and outside please remain standing everybody many of you have come you have heard the word of the Lord you have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst and I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ the Bible says they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore I want to pray for you right now you have struggled Jesus Christ can give you rest both in this life 
and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to jesus some of you have given your heart to the lord but you just found out that you have derailed many cares have taken his place and right now you are tired and you are saying lord let this be the beginning of a new time i want you to leave your seat i'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside god is speaking to you one appreciate them koinonia they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old two please run out leave your seat and come keep clapping what they have us tonight there are lots of people outside god is speaking to you three no matter what you have done god can give you a new beginning no matter what you have done stop struggling there are still people sitting keep coming keep coming koinonia keep appreciating them hallelujah now those remaining join us quickly make sure you join us quickly join us quickly don't let any devil stop you join us quickly hallelujah the bible says for god so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son that if you will believe in him you will not perish but you will have him everlasting life i salute you for this great decision everyone who is truly born again made this decision now i want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision don't be emotional about it this is not a bible recitation this is a genuine decision that will begin your christian experience never forget this day for the rest of your life i like you to shout it very loud say after me lord jesus I am a sinner, unable to help myself. But this night, I have heard your voice, and I come to you. Save me, help me. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that from today, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm born again. The Spirit of God is at work in me. My sins are forgiven. I am a brand new man. Satan, I denounce you and all your works. From today, I am a child of God. Forward ever, backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Father, preserve these ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, preserve them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Let their salvation be genuine. Preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break the power of sin over your life. I break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you. In the name of Jesus, you are free. I declare you saved by the word of God. Begin a new Christian experience. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now congratulations I salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now I'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you who we'll have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly if this is your first time inside and outside if this is your first time worshiping with us please leave your seat and come out here quickly i want to pray and prophesy over your life please no matter how far you are inside or outside leave your seat and come you must go with this final prophecy all first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you thank you for coming those who invited them may good things keep locating your life forever in the name of jesus keep clapping koinonia 
They are coming. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. Mommy, thank you. My mommy is here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please join us quickly. If you are coming from outside, join us quickly. This is the koinonia you've heard about. Hallelujah. God is doing mighty things in our midst. We're here every Friday. This was a special venue. Our regular venue is CGC. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. Never, never be the same. God will do more than you have bargained for. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray and prophesy upon your life. And I pray that the hand of God will come mightily upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy. I speak over your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. We bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom. We bless you with grace. We bless you. We bless you. Let everything work for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Return with testimonies. You will not need to tell men you came for koinonia. An anointing will go with you. What used to be a challenge for you, you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already. The Lord will go before you and grant you rest. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you from the depths of our hearts. Keep growing in the word of God. Hallelujah. I'd like you to follow the ushers. Just this way they will direct you. They will have your details and welcome you. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia. Parenting Network International. Or follow us on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash koinonia underscore ENI. You can also download our messages on www.forshared.com. Parenting Network International, duplicating the fullness of God's life on earth. Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, It shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 hallelujah we have to hurry up there's a lot for us to do Hallelujah. Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go. Out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Every chain. Yeah. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing a snake. Out! Out of her, that devil of darkness. Now! Now! Now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out! Come out right now! Out! 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 Come out! Come out right now! Out of her! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out! Let her go out of her now. There's an army rising up. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you.
upon you. Go, 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 go. Out. showing me a very big fish like a whale this is what I'm seeing to break every chain break every chain now at the count of three you are leaving this lady never to return you know my voice one two three go go right now out of her out of her now lay your hands on her back out now now you're going by the fire of the holy ghost madam Please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? You don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you look wait now. Just let me know. It's you I'm talking to. Forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she do? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? I'm a secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We're going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out of her! Come out of her right now! Out! 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost! She's going to cough out something now. Take her outside. You believe that I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. 
They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope to that. Hold my hands, mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Come. Please come. Look at me, look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Wait now, calm down. Hold my hands. Since when? Hold my hands. Now devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. 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 Mental spirit. Out of her right now. is revealing something to me it goes right now take her back to her seat and keep checking her I'm seeing a woman they diagnose you of fibroid please let's hurry up you came here it's part of your prayer your list not a young lady a woman we need to end it right now we need to end it right now a dark woman you are putting her tie her tie her tie, her tie, her tie. Come. It would disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold. Thank you, Jesus. Fibroid, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now and let her return with testimonies. Out of her! Now! You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You are going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you and you are living. Now in the name of Jesus. Just keep your hands on her. Can a young man like this be so oppressed? Please lay your hands on him. Let me pray for him. Now, let him go. Now, the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. There's no hiding. There's no hiding. Go, 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 go. See. Many of you, let me explain to you what is happening. It is not about the people. Some of them is the families that they represent. This is the whole family being set free. It's not even about the person. Are you hearing what I'm saying?
The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is it a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. You had an accident. How long? July, it's July. And from then you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But it didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be it's supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they did they try to work on it for you? And it has you cannot walk without this thing completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you with all your heart? This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks, weeks literally, it will be but as a sign, you'll be able to walk right now without this. Just leave him. Please clear this pathway. Brother, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, look at me. Lift your leg. Start lifting your leg. Go ahead. Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, relief. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Look at this. Come on, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at, look at, look at, look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. He could not do this. Look at, look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The fracture is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be perfected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. mighty miracle has happened here someone your hand is bent is bent check it now check it you could not bend it please god just showed me it will surprise you run out right now it's a big miracle somebody's hand you could not bend it very well the lord is straightening it right now right now right now right now right now right now the lord is straightening it right now look at this what couldn't you do you could not lift it before. You could not lift it. He couldn't lift it because he was born deformed. Look at what God is doing. Now put it down and lift it up. Put it down and lift it up. Look, see, see the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Look at the power of the Holy. You know this is dead. Look at what is happening to him. Look at this. Can you see his hands shaking? Look at this. Look at what God is doing. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. Okay, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. Lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is? Who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put, just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks, it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. It's time to wave bye bye to it. Lift up your hands. Peptic ulcer. We are going to start ministering now. Instant miracles will begin to happen. Pastor Jax is here. We'll verify them and have some. Ah. Daddy. Can I talk to you, sir? I'm seeing stroke. This is what the Lord is showing me. The devil wants to bring stroke from here. I'm seeing it completely paralyzed. This is what the Lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring. You believe me? Can I pray for you? Please hold my hands. That devil of stroke. Let him go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That stroke will not come. We command that you are free. Name of Jesus Christ. Come. God is visiting your family. Not just you, your family. Hold my hands. Both of them. Look at me. Can you shout? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer, lift your hands. Please, listen. We are going to start praying right now. Instant miracles will start happening. Hallelujah. Where are your family members? Please come. Mama. Where is your first son? Don't point the picture. I, I'm seeing. I mean, where is he? What is he doing? Nothing is moving in this family. We must break the hands of that. Huh? Who has a child in your family? My third boy. He fell a, a child. I'm seeing a child. Uh, third boy, my immediate elder sister. We are going to pray because. Okay, this is the child. You see, give God praise. See the baby. This is the baby. <laughs> Madam. My second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? 
The person has run away. Eh? Just leave them. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now, whatever spirit has taken her out of this place, she returns now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is, she returns now back to this place. I'm going to pray for you, ma. Things will change in a dramatic way in your family. You believe that? Visit mama. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you a visitation from God together with all the members of your family. I lay my hands. Every terminal disease in your family goes right now. Who is this? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Now, out. Let this lady go free now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse that devil of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free. Be free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands, please. Now I'm going to pray for you. Pastor Jake, sir. Um, where, where do we do it now? Okay, maybe we'll create. Once we begin to minister, as the Lord touches you, check yourself. We want to take some testimonies. Okay, this side. This side. Pastor Jake will be there. Pastor Williams too is there. Please, we we'll only announce verified miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. All, sir, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at me. The fire of God is coming upon you, Dora. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, any miracle right now, Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command ulcer. Some of you will feel like fire. Just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Ulcer, be healed now. This lady has ulcer. God is healing her. This lady has ulcer. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. At the count of three, ulcer, be healed. One, two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of ulcer. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle. Just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers, as in there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm seeing in the spirit. At the count of three. That plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt. A female usher. 
as soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One, two, three. Shekete-tete-tete. Rekete-kotopata. Sobrekete-tete-tete-tete. Ekrete-kotabaladabash. Rakatabababa. Out of her. Come out. Out right now. Shekete-tete-tete-tete-tete. Shekete-tete-tete-tete-tete. Rekete-tete-tete. Thank you, thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Sheka prosko pregede bash. Sheka teke 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 te. Reke te 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 te. La paka paka tabla ka teke tabala naba. I set you free right now from altars of darkness. Be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They call a woman Mama Embu. Mama Embu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. It's somebody's relative. Mama Embu. Who is Mama Embu? You? Mama Embu, come. Do you? Where are the Embu? Your name is Mama Embu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Embu? These are the Embu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. Please, somebody, can you collect the children? These children are sick. I see a plague of darkness upon their lives. He's crying. Sorry, oh boy. Are you seeing all these swellings on this child? This child, what you think is a skin infection, but this is a demonic thing. Huh? We must deal with it. Father, you reveal this. Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over. Right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah, hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today. Praying in tongues for hours. Mama, I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look, many things are happening here. Don't wait on. Okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes. When I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned Pepsi Oxa, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside, close to the gate, would not have noticed it if you checked clearly. But now... So the pins are gone. Completely gone. If you press it, no pain. Please come. Please come. Ensure press. Press her stomach very well. Any pain? No. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, just give Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Okay. Wow, I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you do something and you won't get any result. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream, a man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her and forcing her to eat. And since when apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm relieved. I'm really relieved. Are you just looking like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they too shall become one flesh. But the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families. But right now, I said right now, he said one more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep. To sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances. According to the word of the Lord, it will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I curse you. That spirit responsible for marital delay. I open up your marital destiny now. In the name of Jesus. I open up your marital destiny. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Fire is burning in this place. Shake it. Make God to soto tete. Make break it. Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity 
and your life partner has not come all men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come as if they are thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door right now be open in the name of jesus 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 fire fire is falling fire is forcing doors to open up fire is forcing doors Shake, 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 break it, make up to break it, shake, my protos cause, rakata kete belekoto, e break it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, man break it, shake it, shake it, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selena. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says, who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands. And the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed. Nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus. Womb be open. Right now. Womb be open. Now. Mommy return with your child. Return with your miracle baby. Baby girl. Baby girl. Look at me madam. You are returning with a baby girl. The name of Jesus Christ. What the doctor said, God is changing it. Within now and the next two weeks, you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth. Let her go. Out! Now! Out! This is, I'm seeing a spirit holding her womb. Release her now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you're standing for somebody, just stand. 
miracle babies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ miracle babies return with your testimonies hallelujah madam go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house it has reached Lintel level but nothing more again this has been for years who is that the Lord is showing me something please come look at me look at me wait uh -uh. I will know if you are the one all of you look at me the power of God will come upon one person that is the person but I'm going to pray for you for coming out. No problem. Don't worry. Even if you are seated, I just want to minister directly. All of you look at me. Lord, you gave me a sign. Right now, whoever that person is, let the fire of God come in a mighty way. Now! I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact. Every demonic thing keeping that building as I lay my hands on you, I tell you finance will come from everywhere. Shake it, teka, maka protoko te brasha, mate kretos kopre, reke teke te, reke proso prosh, reka tabadi kapos, ma preke telekos, mam protos kopre gete, go shata lakata preke de balarabash, rakata preke te, building projects, building projects. God is visiting in the name of Jesus supernatural testimonies some of you before the end of the year before the end of the year the hand of the lord will bring resources come madam you came out for building but what god is going to do is more than building you are a very good woman hold on where is your child they are at home three things the lord is going to do before now and the end of the year Wait, madam, let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family. I've not even touched financial issues. Number two, number two, this is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do, yo? I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see, you, this woman is a very good woman very good she say amen a very good woman you can know you are good some of you are bad she knows she's good hallelujah praise the lord you have a daughter you have a daughter what's her name joy joy the lord says i should tell you it's time for her to leave her name in the family i don't know her name that's why god said i should, I should ask you of her name joy madam you will come back and you will testify it's a mighty visitation lord confirm your word with signs did i pray for you you're a businessman you do not even know but you're a major businessman come you have not started anything you don't know anything. go and read let me tell you my brother what do you do you are, you are going to do business in a mighty way and God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. Will come because there are many families here. This is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let Mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you.
Wow. Shebakata balada bakata. Mambreto so pretisha. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't do Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side. Outside, please. Please don't miss it. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Look at how many people are coming for sickness. You see how the devil is a, is a, is a, is a liar. Welfare. Can I get a cup of water, please? So I can drink. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.